Miss Allison. We are so excited to be on the park stage, but we wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. But it's not Christmas. No, not really. But we're celebrating <laughs> Christmas in July. <laughs> and we all love Christmas because we are talking about the greatest gift ever today. So since we're talking about the greatest gift, I think as families, we should discuss what is the greatest gift you have ever received? Now hit your pause button or touch your screen and talk about it as a family. Welcome back. I hope you all had a really good discussion on your greatest gift, but Miss Allison's going to talk about the greatest gift she has ever yes. received. So I even brought it to show you guys. <gasps> okay. I wonder what it is. All right. My, is it a new dog? Uh, well, whoop, whoop, no. Nope. Okay. No. Right. So, boom. <gasps> this is a Barbie because a Barbie. it's not just any Barbie because it's from my very favorite musical ever, which is Grease. And when I was a kid, singing? no, I'm not okay. going to sing. She's not going to sing. Not going to sing for you guys. Okay. But when I was a kid, I saw on TV that you could get this Barbie in New York City. And New York City. Do I live in New York City? No. No. And I didn't know how I was going to get this Barbie, but I asked for it for Christmas and <gasps> it showed up under the tree. Oh, and this was her greatest gift yep. ever. And she still has it. Maybe, still the, have maybe it. the gifts y'all got, you're going to have when you're Miss Allison's age. Maybe. We will say. Oh, no, I'm really, really old. Really old. Now, um, since we're on the stage and we're in the park, I think it's time for a game. What game do you have for us this morning, Miss Allison? We do have a game. Okay, does it have to do with gifts? <laughs> it has to do with gifts. So, okay. are you ready for this? I'm ready. We have three bags. Okay. And it's going to be kind of like a little mix-up. We're going to be okay. mixing them all up. Okay. And there's going to be a gift in one of them. Dun, da, da, da. Another Barbie, but okay. a mini one. A mini Barbie. So she's gonna be the Barbie. gift. Okay. We're gonna put it in the bag. Okay. Go ahead. And we're gonna just start I guess. mixing them like crazy. No, I guess it's in that one. No, I got it right. Do that. Woo, no, woo, woo. we're okay. not ready, Miss Christie. Okay. Okay. We can mix it up, oh. and they're gonna guess. So y'all are gonna guess. Yeah. Y'all need to watch guess. the three red bags. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Ready. Here we go. which one it's in okay so as a family make your decision this is going to bag be bag number one bag number two and bag number three so if you think it's bag number one raise your hand okay if you think it's bag number two um do a little dance move okay if you think it's bag number three oh yeah okay all right let's find let's check all right bag number one I don't see anything. No, okay, no bag number one. Okay, what's next? Bag number two. No. no. So it must be in bag it's number three. It's gotta be bag number three. There Yay. it is. There's All our right. little gift. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. We got it right. All right, well, that, hopefully you did. that was fun. <laughs> so we are now going to go on our time where we sing our praises to God. That means you need to get up and you can dance a little. And then we're going to talk about the greatest gift today. And we'll be back at the end. So enjoy. How does your favorite story end? Wait, first, how does your favorite story begin? In a world where a kid who has something to learn, something to discover, this kid finds unexpected friends. They head out on an adventure and face some tough challenges. Then when things are the darkest, when all hope seems lost, 
Something, someone, comes through to save the day. And everyone celebrates! Now, think about this. We are hardwired to love stories because each one of us is living one. We're all human and we all make mistakes. But sometimes the road ahead can be so rough, we don't know how to fix the problems we face. But we do know the times we've seen God at work. We know he sent a hero right into the middle of our story, God's own son, Jesus. And we know that when we follow Jesus, God promised an ending more incredible than anything we can imagine. Wherever we go, he goes with us too. When we live out our story with hope and faith, others can see God at work in us. That's why faith is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. and I want to tell you about my favorite month of the year. <gasps> no, I want to sing about it. I love July, you want to know why? I love July, you want to know why? It's because July is the month where you can play outside, eat homemade ice cream, and do all the fun summer things. But it's also when we celebrate Christmas in July. Have a holly jolly Christmas.
Yes, it's the best time of the- It is the best time of the year! Some of you are probably thinking that it doesn't feel like Christmas time, and that's okay. It doesn't have to feel exactly like Christmas time to celebrate it. That's what Christmas in July is all about. It just takes a little extra faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Take Christmas presents, for example. Even though we can't see what's inside, we have faith that it's something good and exciting because it's from someone who cares about us and wants us to be happy. Like this one is from my friend, Haley. Man, do I want to see what's inside? Not a problem. Just gotta focus all my senses. Or maybe I need to focus with an x-ray machine. Yeah. Okay, it's not a real x-ray machine, but it's homemade and it should do the trick. <laughs> Just one thing first. Got it! Now I can see what's inside. Hmm. It's kind of dark in here. This may take a while. Today's story is all about gifts, by the way. Actually, it's about one gift. And it's a big one. You won't want to miss it. See you soon. Maybe it's a pair of socks. Or a composition book. Those are kind of black, aren't they? Huh. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. Rin grabbed a handful of granola bars from the pantry and tossed them in her duffel as Aunt Dina watched. I don't know if they'll have snacks there. Aunt Dina raised an eyebrow and took a sip of coffee. Is it one of those church camps? I guess. I, I mean, Jess invited me. It's in the mountains. It sounds cool. You're gonna have to shape up, you know. You don't go to church like them. Hey, I don't get in trouble. Rin's aunt grinned and shook her head. <laughs> Whatever you say, hun. Rin's mom breezed in with a rain poncho and handed it to Rin. Come on, Dina. Rin's a good kid and she's gonna have a great time. There's Jess. You go and have fun. It was a three-hour trip up to Camp Hickory. Jess and her mom chattered away, but Rin couldn't help thinking about Aunt Tina's offhanded comment. I do mess up. A lot. Images scrolled through Rin's head like scenes from a film. The times Rin snapped at her little brother. Go away, Keegan. You're such a pain. That time last week when mom shut off Rin's internet access. That is so not fair. And Rin snuck the password off of her mom's phone. And that exam where she accidentally saw the answer off of her friend's test and wrote it down anyway? I shouldn't have done that. Hey, Rin, we're almost there. Jess's cheerful voice cut into Rin's thoughts. She tried to smile as she looked out out the window at the winding mountain road and high blue sky. Great! Rin's worries haunted her as they checked in and made their way to the cabin. These kids all go to church. They know the right stuff to say and do. Rin glanced over to see Jess struggling with her oversized duffel and backpack. She decided it was time to level up. Hey, let me get that for you. But you've got... I can do it. Rin staggered toward the cabin, hauling both of their bags. Inside, they met their counselor, Sally. Hey there, I think this is all of us now. I'm really sorry, but the bottom bunk by the door is kind of creaky. We usually draw straws to see who will sleep there. I'll take it. What? Oh, well, that's great. At dinner, Rin looked out for more ways she could blot out the memories of her mistakes. They ran out of cherry cobbler. Here, you can have mine. When Sally spilled her water. Oops, I'll just. I got it. I'll run over to the kitchen and get a towel. After dinner, everyone hiked the half mile toward the outdoor amphitheater for the evening gathering. Rin's eyes darted back and forth, looking for more ways to help. Hey, you can slow your roll now. Sally fell into step with Rin, who grinned sheepishly. This is all kind of new for me. <laughs> me too. It's my first year as a counselor. It's just, everyone here has gone to church forever. 
They've got it all together. <laughs> Trust me, they don't. I don't. But at least they know the rules, the right stuff to do. Rin, you have been incredibly helpful and kind since you got here, which is awesome. But you don't have to do everything perfectly to fit in. At camp? Yeah, at camp, but also with God. That's what this week is about. Having fun and relaxing, knowing that it doesn't matter who you are or what you've done. God totally loves and accepts you anyway. Rin frowned as she hopped over a fallen log across the trail. I lied to my mom last week. Well, own up to it. She'll still love you, and it sure won't change how God feels about you. <laughs> Not to be all churchy, but can I tell you this verse I love? Sure. It's the first thing I read when my friend Carl gave me a Bible three years ago. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Christ, that means Jesus, right? Yeah, we'll talk about all that this week, but just know you can't work for God's love. He already loves you completely. Whether or not you lie to your mom or take the creaky bunk or give away your dessert. It just feels like, I don't know, I should have to do something. I know, right? But just letting God love you, that's the most important thing. Doing good stuff comes after knowing how loved you are. Rin took a deep breath trying to take it all in. As the dust began to settle, she saw a large campfire ahead with rows of benches. Jess waved. Hey, Rin, we saved you a seat. Rin turned back to Sally. Do you have a place to sit? Go ahead. I'll see you for s'mores after. Rin jogged over to the bench where Jess and the other girls from the cabin were sitting. It was a lot to process, but for the first time all day, she felt like she could relax because she knew there was nothing she had to do to fit in. I just can't see it. Can, can you see it? No. Well, you know what I can see? I can see the amazing gift God gave to us. Not something we earned or worked for, <laughs> but a gift God had planned since the very beginning. See, when Adam and Eve first turned away from God, sin entered the world and people's relationship with God was broken. And people were waiting on God to send a savior. And that's exactly what he did. He sent Jesus to die on the cross to pay for the price of our sins. Jesus was God's gift to the world. So it's easy to think of things we can hold and unwrap as gifts, but this gift from God is so much bigger than anything that could fit inside a box. You'd need a really big box. Bigger. 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 Bigger? It doesn't matter if you found the biggest box on the planet. It still wouldn't be big enough. That's because there's no limit to God's grace. He loves you more than you can imagine. There's nothing you could do that would make him love you any more or any less. He sent Jesus so that we could have a relationship with him that will last forever. So the one thing to remember today is this. Jesus is a gift for everyone. When we believe that, it helps us do good things and love others, not because we're trying to earn God's love, but because we already know how much he loves us. And if you're not sure what you believe about God yet, guess what? God loves you so much, whether you realize it or not. It's like God is giving you a Christmas gift. All you gotta do is unwrap it. <laughs> That's the only way to really know what's inside. going to the movies. Merry Christmas, everybody.
Wow, that was a great story. We talked about grace. So what is grace? Grace is God's love. Grace is God's forgiveness. And we're gonna make mistakes, aren't we? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna make lots of mistakes, but God always forgives us and that's grace. But God sent us Jesus which is the best gift we can ever receive because Jesus came to the earth for us and he died on the cross for us. And that means we can have a relationship with him forever. So God gave us the best gift ever. So after you watch this, or even maybe sometime this week, we want your family to sit down and have small group time together so you can talk about God's grace even more but we also have some fun challenges for you. And we want you to share photos with us, but what are our fun challenges so, for the week? this week, Christmas in July style. Woohoo! Woo I want you to put on your Christmas jammies. Oh, I wear mine all the time, okay. Christmas jammies. Miss Christy loves Christmas. I do. So, we're putting on our Christmas jammies, okay. and we're picking out a Christmas movie. <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh, yep. do I watch Elf? Do I watch Home Alone? Do I watch Miracle on 34th Street? Maybe she loves Christmas. What are you gonna watch? I'm probably gonna watch A Christmas Story. That's okay. my favorite. Okay. Or so, Noel, I recently <laughs> just love, I love Noel. Oh, oh, oh So okay. you're just gonna watch a Christmas movie All week every long. day of the week. Okay, But watch a Christmas movie and, and your you PJs. And you can too if you want to. Drink some so, hot or cold cocoa. Pretend like it's Christmas time. And take pictures really and send to us. <laughs> and we are going to be celebrating the best gift ever, which is Ooh. what, Miss Christy? Jesus! Okay, so Jesus taught us how to love everyone. So how can we love everyone this All week? All right, so we have a little mission challenge. Woo! Okay, mission. All right, so what you're gonna do is you are going to find a present. Could be something from the store, could be something homemade. Okay. You're gonna wrap it up. Okay, wrap up our present. You're gonna think of somebody you wanna give it to, maybe a friend or a family member. Probably not ourselves. Yeah, not no, yourself. Okay. This is for yourself. someone else. Okay. So, you're going to surprise somebody with that gift. Because are they expecting a gift in the middle of July? No. Are they going to be so happy? Yes. Is it going to be, be a way we can do good? It's so awesome. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we want you to surprise someone with a gift this week. And then you're showing them how much you love them. And God's greatest gift is Jesus. And it shows how much he loves us. So we hope you have the best week ever. See ya. Bye.